Okay, um, I don't know if you can actually sort of tell by my voice, but I think I may actually be coming down with something. Hence, that's actually my, uh, low. And it started, like, yesterday afternoon. I actually had, like, post-nasal drip because the way I always describe post-nasal drip as is, um, you feel like you swallowed a golf ball. That's like what it felt like. That's what it felt like to me. In fact, I'll never forget the first time I learned what post nasal drip was. I was it was a one evening and I had that feeling again like I swallowed a golf ball. And I walked up to my mom and this is how good of a nurse she is. She um I told her, Hey mom, it kinda it kinda feels like I just swallowed a golf ball. And then oh, just got a message from someone. Hold on. Okay. Oh, one. Holy cow. Um, right. Anyway, um, where was I? So I, um, I asked my mom, I'm like, hey, mom, I have, like, it feels like I, like, just swallowed a golf ball. Something, something wrong with And she just nonchalantly is like, oh, you said post nasal drip. I'm like, is that what that is? Because I heard about it a lot because my brother would get that a lot. His allergies are much worse than I am, than mine are. And, um, like, oh, okay, so this is what post-nasal drip is. All right. Hopefully it won't be, like, an everlasting thing. And, like, between that and the inside of my apartment is just plain hot. Like, seriously, it was so hot, I had to take a cold shower this morning. And, well, actually, it felt really nice. But... Like, well, I think it was the first time I took a cold shower in a good while. Probably the first time I've involved anything remotely cold water related since, you know, jumping into Kika Lake about a little over a month ago. Yeah, unfortunately, whenever it got like, oh, really, really cold in the morning, I'm like, I'm not jumping in. As much as I would love to be able to jump into Kika Lake, I know that, you know, it's a little cold to do that. Plus, you know, I just took a cold shower this morning, so that helps. Hey, you know, maybe I'll get ready for the uh, polar bear plunge at the Switzerland Inn. That'd be really cool, huh? I mean, I've done it before. Or I've done it this year, too, but, you know. Anyway, um, so other than that, so basically my low is that I think I'm coming down with something. I mean... It hasn't impeded, like, anything yet. It's nothing, like, serious. But I'm still going to proceed with caution throughout my, throughout my day. Um, let's see. My high? Huh. Let's see, what was my high? Well, my high is, you know, pretty obvious, you know. Everybody else picked the Ravens to win last night, but not me. I actually picked the Chiefs to win. And they won pretty handily, too. So, yeah, some people are saying the Chiefs are going to make another Super Bowl run. I buy into that. I really buy into that now. I mean, Lamar Jackson had the ability to win at home against the Chiefs, and he couldn't do it. So, that should, that should have you talking right there. Oh, oh. Now for my act of kindness. What was my act of kindness? Um... Uh, shoot, what did I do for my act of kindness yesterday? Okay, um, I know this. I can think of something I did tonight. I mean, again, even though technically the act of kindness is relatively arbitrary just because, you know, you don't really, need, it doesn't really need to be that great. I think of something because, you know, I did do stuff for my you know, I'll just do it again. I, um, again, my grandmother is, you know, elderly a little bit, so, not a little bit, she, she's, she's 86 years old, so, I, uh, did some, uh, grocery shopping for her, so, uh, that was nice. I'm glad I was able to, uh, glad I was able to do that. Oh, 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 oh. And on top of all that, it was so incredibly hot last night, I didn't really get much sleep either. I mean... 
I didn't want to risk opening up my windows because what if, you know, bad stuff can get in? And like my heat's turned off, you know, again, it's like a cold shower this morning. Man, I don't know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna start drinking some fluids. Now, well, not now, now, like probably after I'm, uh, probably after I'm done with this. So, uh, good morning and, uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. Yeah, that's the, that's the scary part. It's only Tuesday and I'm already feeling like I'm coming down with something. This is going to be a great week, isn't it? So, there are actually a lot to look forward to today. Oh, oh. And, uh, later this week. Foremost, um, yes, we no longer have America's Got Talent. It makes me sad. But they're bringing back The Weakest Link. For those of you guys who don't know, The Weakest Link was a game show that was hosted by this one, like, really stern, really emotionless acting woman who would ask uh, questions that... Uh, you know, a, a circle of uh, contestants would have to answer in the order of, you know, whatever the circle you were in. And for every question they got right, you know, they were able to get more money. But for everything they got wrong, you know, it, the, the amount would go back down to zero. And basically, if you yelled bank, you were able to save that money before you accidentally lost it, right? So, should, after every round, there would always be, like, some sort of voting, like, who, like, either answered the least amount of questions correctly, or who's a bigger threat, so, you know, vote them off right away. And, obviously, the most iconic part of that show was when the host, after that person was done being voted off, the host would say, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. And, like, that was, that was, that was it. So, they're bringing The Weakest Link back, which, honestly, was so, I mean, I remember liking it, I mean, I don't know, I, I remember liking it okay. Honestly, I don't really understand why they got rid of it. I don't know. But, they brought it back, and they got none other than Jane Lynch, of all people. Yes, the, uh, the cheerleading coach from Glee the uh, social worker from uh, Role Models, and a whole bunch of other stuff that she's been in. Like, she is awesome. I don't think they could have gotten anyone better. Fun fact about Jane Lynch, she was actually almost Phoebe on Friends. Then again, considering that Phoebe is the character I'm pretty sure I hated the most, I'm kind of glad that she wasn't Phoebe because I would probably wind up not liking, well, I like Lisa Kudrow, but, you know, I hated Phoebe. I'm sorry, but I could not get... She was always so annoying and... Ugh. Hate that. I was always a Chandler guy myself, actually. Funny, I only got really into Friends when, um... Uh... Only the last, like, couple of years. But, you know, I saw the appeal. I never did watch when it first aired. Again, I was more that 70s show kind of guy. And even then, I would only catch that show here and there. Um, right, so, The Weakest Link is coming back. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to try and talk about it tomorrow. Because, you know, hey, I need a new hobby after, you know, America's Got Talent's gone. And, um, oh, oh, the voice isn't coming back until, like, October. So, I got to do something to keep myself occupied. Wait, is it? Yeah, I think today is the, I think today they're doing the weakest link. I'm thinking something else. I'm thinking September 23rd, wait, September 23rd was a Wednesday. And that was when the Masked Singer season four premiered, which I'm, I'm going to talk about Thursday morning too. So this should be a pretty, this really should be a pretty solid week in terms of like what to watch on TV. So that'll be, that'd be really cool, huh? And, uh, the other thing to really look forward to this week, Hot Ones is coming back this week on October 1st. Perfect timing. You know, it was a relatively short break, which is nice. I mean, 
I, I mean, as much as I want, I mean, it's a little difficult for me to decide, to, for me to say I want, I mean, on the one hand, I love hot ones, and whenever they go on a break between seasons, you know, I want them to come back as soon as possible. But at the same time, you know, I want them to make, I want to make sure that they get all the proper rest they need, you know, give them an opportunity to recharge their batteries, you know, and then when the next season starts up, they'll be able to go into full force. But I think because of the fact that the world is in the state that it's in, they don't really need as much time to relax and get stuff done. So maybe that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be bad either. But yes, season 13 of Hot Ones starts this week and they got none other than Jessica Alba to be the first guest of season 13, which makes sense. You know, she's obviously on there to promote her show, you know, LA's Finest, which stars her and Gabrielle Union, who Gabrielle Union was also on our ones. So, in that regard, it's gonna come full circle. Actually, for it to really come full circle, they gotta get D-Wade on Hot Ones. Cause, you know, D-Wade is Gabrielle Union's, you know, husband. I actually almost said wife for them. Yes, D-Wade is Gabrielle Union's wife. <laughs> That is, that is not how it works at all. Oh, well, sometimes it can work if you're that kind of family, but that's, that's not what's happening here. Anyway, um, right. So, I guess you can give my thoughts on Jessica Alba. I like Jessica Alba, I really do. And she really is capable of, like, you know, being a good actress. But during my uh, younger younger years in my teen years, she would be in some really like bad movies or she'd be type or she'd be cast in movies she didn't belong in. Like, um, for those of you who don't know, she was in the uh, Tim Story Fantastic Four movies as, you know, the Invisible Woman. And, you know, Jessica Alba at the time was more portrayed as, you know, uh, a woman lacking in intelligence for a lot of her movies. So having her play an iconic superhero, not really the best idea. But actually, to be perfectly honest, I don't remember hating the two. Like, seriously, a lot of people really, really, really hate those Tim Story Fantastic Four movies, which I kind of see why. But if I can give them credit for one thing, they made Michael Chiklis the thing. I can forgive him for that, because Michael Chiklis is the man. He honestly should be the thing in the MCU. I'd watch that. That'd be really cool if they did that. Huh. But, um, yeah, that's, that's not here or there. We're talking about Jessica Alba. She's going to get some hot ones. The way I see it, if they're doing the format that they're doing now with doing over, like, you know, Zoom and everything, I expect Sean to ask how she's been holding up as, you know, a wife and mother during these times of, you know, COVID-19, how, um, what's it like being on a show like, you know, Ellie's Finest with Gabrielle Union. So there's definitely going to be some very good questions asked. It's just a matter of like what specifically we're going to get. Um, other than that, I... I can't really think of much else going on this week other than any of the usual sh suspects. You know, we have Thursday Night Football this week, which, I mean, I actually made this comparison before, but, you know, you watch a show involving hot wings and you get to watch football, in which hot wings is a very appropriate snack to have during your time watching football. So, you know, there's that. Um, hmm. Let's see, that, uh, that's really about it. I mean, I guess I probably could talk a little bit more about, you know, I said, I mean, I said this yesterday, but, you know, One Piece is officially on the countdown to get to chapter 1000, and there's no break this upcoming week. So it begs the question, who's going to reach who, for, who's going to reach what first? Am I going to reach 1100 days, which would be January 4th of... 2021, or will One Piece reach a thousand manga chapters? 
I mean, by that logic, there can only be two, maybe three breaks between now and then if One Piece needs to have a shot of getting to chapter 1000 first. I mean, I said this before, the state of my being addressed on January 4th is going to be amazing. That would be sweet. But knowing how weekly manga chapters work, I just know that when we get to chapter 999, that's going to be one of the weekends is going to be a break. I just know it. Well, I guess I'll jump over that bridge when I come to it. Like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social media, follow me on vacation YouTube. I am very humbled to make this video for all of you guys watching Joy for Day. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Remember, when you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here. Join the line in here, and I'll always have your back. Take care, and make good choices. This video is now over. Goodbye.